Hello students, this is Mrs. Limson, and uh, I want to teach you how to do a proper hyperlink. Now, if you've talked to anyone from my class I just finished, they will tell you that hyperlinks are very important to me. Okay, so when you write about a piece of music, I want you to include a recording of that. So um, I have a list here of the pieces that we will be looking at in our book from the classical period. And basically, when I go to create a hyperlink, what I do is I type in the title of the song. And so like, we are going to do a hyperlink on Beethoven's Symphony No. 5 in C minor. Now you will notice I've just kind of, uh, you know, dragged that and highlighted it. Now the way to create that hyperlink is to right click your mouse. So I'm going to do that now and look at the options that come up. If you go down near the bottom here, there's one that's called the hyperlink. Click on that with your uh, left button. Okay. Now. This opens up a little box, and down here at the bottom of this box, you're going to put an address in it. So now I'm going to go over to the internet, and I'm going to pull up a recording of this piece. And here we have Beethoven's Symphony No. 5 uh, at the Proms in 2012, and that's in London. So anyway, uh, you've probably heard this before. We could go on and listen to that wonderful piece of music. Anyway, what I need you to do is to click on the button that says share. See my little thing here? I click on that and voila, it opens this share link. All I hit is that copy button. Okay, and now that link's copied to my clipboard. Now I'm going to go back to my document. Okay, and all I do is a control V. Right there, and there's that YouTube address. And there it is with all the letters and numbers in it. But if I do this hyperlink, look what you'll see in my document. There you go. It is saved in here. So, you know, when you do this on your uh, first assignment, you know, if you do a hyperlink, why, there it is. And it'll get you three extra points. And sometimes three extra points makes a big difference on a grade. So anyway, that's how you do it. I'm going to do one more, okay? Uh, let's see. I'm going to do Mozart. And let's do his DSE ray from his Requiem. Okay, so I'm going to highlight that. I'm going to right-click my mouse, scroll up to hyperlink, click. The box opens. This is the title. That will be, you know, it'll have the address buried within it. Now I go back to my uh, my internet and I am looking. Let's see if I can find that over here. Let's see where is it at. Okay, here's a DSE ray. So I'm going to click on that. And so this is kind of a loud piece by Mozart. Anyway, and now we're going to copy that address. So I click on share and then I copy it and it is saved. I go back to my document. I do a control V again, click OK and looky there. I have a hyperlink that's in my paper. And this is what I want you to do. I tell you, think about it. Which would you rather see? Would you rather see this or would you rather see this? A bunch of letters and numbers and dashes and punctuation signs. For me, 
I think it's so much more professional. And you are college students, okay? And you want to be as professional as you can be. And learning this little trick, you know, is a good thing for you to learn. You'll be able to apply it in so many uh, papers that you will write uh, during your career. So anyway, I hope this is helpful to you and that is how to do a hyperlink. All the best to you. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.